Uh, can I get a motion to approve the agenda with the additions and a deletion? I move to approve the agenda with the following additions. 12F, donation request, handle community church community. 12G, correspond with natural resources and energy development herbicide spraying program. And the removal of item 19A. Second. Second. For the question, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, we need motions for the adoption of the minutes of two, a regular meeting and a special meeting. Move to adopt the minutes of the June 15, 2022 regular meeting of council. I'll second. Any errors or omissions? Excellent. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Thank you. Motion carried. Uh, motion to adopt the July 11, 2022 special meeting. Motion to adopt the minutes of the July 11th special meeting of council. Second. Any errors or admission, omissions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, item six, reports, fire Hello. department. Public input inquiries. Yeah. Oh, we'll Sorry, jumping ahead. So do we have any public input or inquiries? I'm concerned about the school here, and I've been a long time resident of this area, 1989, and we've done Somerset. Um, and, and when I moved in Somerset, we were supposed to get a school, so I'm really happy we have the school, but I'm really concerned about um, how people can access the school that are on foot or on bike, not just the students. Um, there are many of us in the community that will attend that school for various reasons, various functions. If there's basketball games and that, I'm going to support my community and the kids. And I'm not going to use my car. My uh, gas is high. I live on Somerset Drive. I've been hit on the Hanwell Road driving a bicycle. And the reason I'm hit is distracted driving. He hit me and I was taken to the hospital. I had a hip injury and an arm injury. I used to walk the handwall. Some people probably recognize me in this room, room and I was always called the lady on the handwall. Because um, I walked from my home to Shannox, where I was the nurse manager. And I did it every day when the weather was great. Yeah, 11, mile, 11 kilometers. And I had so many near misses that I stopped doing it. So I'm very concerned about the amount of traffic. The traffic in this community is on rail. People do not realize it unless you're walking it or riding on a bike. Like it's continual, continual. I have a child who's just newly diagnosed with autism. He runs out into traffic all the time. It's very difficult to train him not to do this. And I know there's many children with other special needs in this community. So I want to know, is the community council going to support a pathway at the minimum but also really pressure our local government, i.e. the provincial government, to support a crosswalk at some point in the juncture in this. It's, it's absolutely necessary, and I can tell you right now, if a kid gets hit, I'm going to grieve, whether it's my child, my neighbor's child, or somebody in another part of this, this community. I will grieve along with them, and I will want answers. So I, just, I really feel it's important. It's a very important issue, more important than anything else that we can consider right now. And I know tax dollars are tight, but I would prefer my tax dollars went to keep people safe. That's really all I have to say. Thank you for your comments. Uh, you. Did uh, should we get a name for the record? Um, can we get your name for the record, please? Yes, Bernadine Boucher. Bernadine Boucher. Okay, any other public input? Okay. Yeah. Any disclosures, Council? <coughs> okay, no disclosures. Thank you very much. Uh, reports. Uh, Fire Chief Chris, you're up. Good evening, Mayor, Council, Public. Uh, June is fairly busy for us. They were uh, 16 runs in June. 116 today. There are less to the end of June. Actually, there's a few more. Um, just a little note I added in here was uh, 
So far this year, for six months, the 4,811 and a half hours on calls, uh, 2,087 and a half hours for training, and activities, um, 1,134 hours. We don't put in the first system uh, if we have open houses or meet with people and stuff like that. So that doesn't reflect on our, our calls at all. Any questions? Not pertaining this. Can you tell me how many members you have? That would take up these hours. Fifty-five. Fifty-five? It's a thousand. 189 hours on average per person. And that's only half a year. Yeah. Wow. Well, we have a very dedicated bunch. Well, I guess. Thank you, Chief. Any other questions for the Chief? Mm -hmm. I need a motion to uh, receive his report. <coughs> Move to receive Chief Press's report. Second. 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 No other questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Motion carried. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. Thanks, Chief. Thanks, Chief. Thanks, Chief. Good evening. You too. Enjoy the heat. Yeah. <laughs> Presentations. I don't believe we have any time. No. Building permit applications. <clears throat> I got a, a few new houses going up. Which is always good. Did we end up reaching out to them about adjusting this yet? Do you know? Yes, we did. Terry and I met with uh, Lonnie, and they're actually going to review their schedule. Any other questions on the building permits? Proclamations. Yeah. Proclamations. We don't have any petitions and delegations. We don't have any business arising. Uh, so we got a bylaw 23-2022 amendment to a bylaw to regulate the emissions dust from construction and private roads. Second reading by title. I'd like to move that bylaw 23-2022 amendment to. A bylaw to regulate emissions of dust from construction and private roads be given its second reading by title. I'll second that. Any questions? Uh, we don't debate it right now, right? Just to verify the rules again. Yep. Yeah, perfect. So questions would go to the committee and that would be forwarded to the council. Yeah, perfect. Okay. <coughs> All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Um, All those contrary mind it. Uh, bylaw 23 2022, amendment to a bylaw to regulate the emissions of dust from construction and private roads. Okay, any questions? Okay, I'll. Okay, all those in favor uh, of the amendment, please signify by saying aye. No, we did that already. Yeah, we did that, I thought we did a second one. No, no. Sorry, I'm teasing seeing two here. All right, moving on to correspondence. We have an email from Brian McKnight. So this is, um, the, there's two actually, this one and the next one, it is um, correspondence that you received at the last meeting and I wasn't there, um, so you wanted to table them to find out what our limit was on the donation budget. Right. So we budget $5,000 each year and we have used $1,600 as of today. You need a motion to receive the correspondence from Brian McKnight? Or two yes. Do a donation. For two of them, yeah. I, I move um, to accept the correspondence from Brian McKnight with respect to purchasing advertisement space within uh, Family Violence Awareness Booklet. Um, and authorize the clerk to make a direct donation to Crime Prevention Association of New Brunswick uh, in the amount of 
two hundred and fifty dollars. I'll second that. All right. Any question discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary, mind. Motion carried. Thank you. Then we have an email from Andre Vino, Royal Canadian Legion's Military Service Recognition Book. So this is the book that we received last year. And remember, there was the picture from the, the girl, the high school student from Romato. We did, um, and then we reached out to her, but that's the same book, recognition book. Okay, can I get <coughs> a motion to receive the correspondence, please? I move to receive the correspondence dated to uh, so we did it July 11th from Lori. So I'm going to read the wrong one. Yeah, yeah. I, I apologize. I move to receive the correspondence from Andre Venu with respect to the purchasing and advertising space in the Royal Canadian Legion 20th anniversary edition to the Military Services Recognition Book. Flip. I further move that we make a donation of $200 to the local legion. I'll second. Okay. Any questions? Just to clarify, so the donation will be direct to the direct local, to the local the Royal Canadian Legion. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Motion carried. Thank you, Council. And item C, we have an email from Lauren uh, Renard using the Hanwell logo. Can I get a motion? I motion to receive, receive the uh, correspondence uh, dated July 11, 2022 from Lauren Renard. Requesting the use of the logo, this is directory and directly clerk to contact her advisor. She has counsel. Oh, sorry, she does not have counsel's approval to use Hamill's logo in this book. I'll second it. Any questions? No questions. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Thank you. Motion carried. Okay, item D email from Minister Jill Green, traffic signals at Eaglewood and Hamwell. Can I get a motion, please? Receive the correspondence. I move to receive the correspondence dated July 7, 2022, from Minister Gil Green, acknowledging our request of May 16, 2022, for the installation of traffic signals at the intersection of the Hanwell Road and Eaglewood Drive. Second, Second. that. <coughs> All right, any questions? All those in favor of receiving the correspondence signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Thank you. Motion carried. Item E, donation request to Oho Lake Association. I need a motion to receive the correspondence. I move to accept the correspondence dated July 14th from Susan Jonah and behalf of the Oho Lake Association requesting a donation in the amount of $500 for Yoho Fund Day and direct the clerk to make a donation in the amount of $500. I'll second that. Any questions? Thank you. Some? Actually, I have a question. I know it says it's open to everyone, so I'm just wondering, is the gate going to be open at the, on the road so that we can go down and watch fireworks? There's no gate on the Oval Lake Road? No, I'm, well, you can't see it from there, but I'm talking about the Scouts Lodge. The Scouts Lodge is Lodge's private property. I have no idea whether they'll have it open or not. If anyone wants to go, they're certainly welcome to go you know, anywhere that they can go to, people's houses, to wherever. So they, have, they would have to have an invite? Not necessarily. Lots of opportunities to there, and, and I'm sure if anyone asked the scouts if they weren't there, that they would let, certainly let people I mean, there's a There are several um, boat landings where the last of the fireworks are going to be let go, where that people can go watch if they want. There's opportunity. So the funding would go to the fireworks mostly? Uh, fireworks and anything else they have planned. I'm not sure exactly what else they have um, on the go that would be for. Uh, other events, mostly about the fireworks, yes. But it's for that day? It's for that day. Mm. Okay. okay, any other questions? Um, Councillor Sefton. Yeah, for the record, I'll, I'll, I'll vote for this because I think if we're asking for it, somebody has a reason, and I'm going to trust the reasons that are legit. It's a community but event. For, for very deal. Well. But I just want to, the present later, I just want to, you know, 
by us, they have the light, they light the fireworks all the time, so are they now entitled to have donations for the stuff for fireworks around there? If they're having a free event, I would suspect they would be. If we want to donate to it. They do. A fair deal. I just want to make sure we bring this up so we're cognitive going forward. I think your clerks, or sorry, council has a deputy, sorry, if you should, I mean, they're asking for something, we're only going to support it, but it's a, something we should be cognitive of going forward. It's not a, just a group of people, it is an association putting on a public event for the residents of Panama. For the residents of Yoko. Yoko was in Hanwell. Right. And it's open, it's open to all residents of Hanwell. It is. But I don't have access to it. Sure you do. If I get an invite. You just had that discussion. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary line up. Nay. Nay. We have one nay. Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, item F, donation request, Hamill Community Church Community Week. And since I also support this one, I'd like to move to accept the correspondence dated July 19, 2022 from Sydney Shelley on behalf of Hamill Community Church requesting a donation for their Carnival Day as part of Community Week, which runs from July 25th to July 28th, and direct the clerk to make a donation in the amount of all three tolls requested. So you want to do all three? Pay all three, then. Plus four hundred dollars. Yeah. Based on uh, what we just told us earlier about the water donations, I think we're good for the year. Okay. Any questions? All those in favor, signify by saying. Oh, we don't. Sorry. Yeah. Any questions? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary, minded. Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, we have, uh, course, uh, item G, correspondence from Natural Resources and Energy Development Herbicide Spraying Program. Can I get a motion, please, to receive this correspondence? So, sorry, I'll just give you a preamble on this. We just received um, this. It's just the letter stating where they are going to do the herbicide um, spraying. So, as you recall, last year they were going to do down Yoho. It's on any crown land. And I was hoping I was going to be able to tell you the area. However, it doesn't. Um, this link doesn't open until tomorrow, so I think that we should just kind of make the motion fairly generally. There, if you want to go ahead with the spraying, or if we're going to say no for any. Yeah. Did you send a no last year? We yeah, we did. Yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah. So that would just be moved to receive the correspondence. Yes. Yes, because we're not accepting it. But I would also direct the clerk to send in a letter, a response to so accept the correspondence. Mm -hmm. So we should accept the correspondence and then we'll have the clerk uh, send a letter and request it. Yeah. Uh, I move to receive the correspondence dated July 21st. Received on July 20th, 2022, from William Haynes on behalf of the Department of Natural Resources and Energy Development with respect to the herbicide program on select areas of crop land scheduled for early August to mid September, and direct the clerk to send an email, a letter back to them. A letter back to them. Saying. Saying we don't want to move forward. Saying with we don't want to move forward. There we go. <laughs> Got it. Second that. Second that. All right. Any questions, concerns? Okay. All those in favor of accepting the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those kind of reminded. Motion carried. Thank you, Gain Council. All right. Uh, meeting and special events. We have the mayor's report, which I believe everybody has received. Can I get a motion to receive the mayor's report, please? Move to receive the mayor's report. I'll second that. Any questions? All those in favor of receiving the mayor's report, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Thank you. Motion carried. Committee reports. Sage Friendly did not meet. Communications. We need a motion to uh, receive or accept the communications committee report. I move to receive the communication. The committee report is presented. I'll second. Any questions? 
All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary mind it. Thank you. Motion carried. Economic development did not meet. Emergency measures. Uh, we have a report here. Need a motion? I move to receive the emergency measures committee report as presented. Second. Seconded. Any questions? All those in favor of receiving the emergency measures committee report as presented, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All those contrary minded? Motion carried. Thank you. Finance did not meet. Governments and policies did not meet. Uh, may I just a quick uh, note about that? The reason uh, we haven't been really meeting too much with the governance committee at this moment is because a lot of things right now are kind of in a holding pattern because of uh, local government reform. So we're waiting to see after they do the review of our bylaws. If we have to do a bunch of stuff, we'll just do it all at once. Yeah. Um, things such like the questions about like the dust pile and stuff, that's easy stuff that won't really impact things. But larger things like the science bylaws and the procedural bylaws and all that stuff, that's all going to get reviewed. So there's no point in us making additional changes at this time. Yep, yeah, there's a lot going on, that's for sure. All right, item G, Parks and Recreation. We need a motion to accept the Parks and Recreation Committee report as presented. I move to accept the Parks and Recreation Committee report as presented. Second. Questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Motion carried, thank you. And uh, with that being accepted then, based on the report, so I have motion, whereas council has motion to move forward with the construction of a bike slash BMX park at the Brookdale Recreation Park on Canberra Drive, and whereas Hamwell staff are currently working multiple projects that are already in progress, and it would be in the best interest of both staff and council to not add an additional project to our current task list at this time, I hereby motion for council to authorize the Recreation Committee to work with River Valley Cycling and any ad other additional parties required to move forward with this project and obtain designs, costs and estimates, and any other preliminary project work on behalf of Council. Second. Any questions? Okay, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Contrary minded. Motion carried. Thank you. Treasurer's report. Okay, um, so just at the treasurer's report, your bank balances are on here as of June 30th, and we did um, two partial payments on our contracts, so TMC and Associates for the walking trail and multi-purpose surface, and to Sharkey Contracting for the um, trail maintenance in the park. And um, we also received an invoice from Pox and Palmer for $4,462, including HST for the ongoing rezoning issue in the industrial park. But because it's, it's under the 5000 that we have spent over our budgeted amount, so I just want to have a motion to accept that. Okay, motion to re uh, receive, Excellent. or accept, sorry. I move to accept the treasurer's report and approve the payment on the following invoice. Cox and Palmer, $4,462, including HST for the rezoning issue in the industrial park for the month of June. Second. Second. All those in favor signify, or any questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Thank you. Motion carried. Well, item 16, old or unfinished business, uh, accessibility trail. Any report on that? Okay, so with the accessibility trail, um, we actually have um, a from Nova Scotia coming tomorrow to oh, look at our trail. Again, um, as you know, he gave us a quote a long time ago, and in order to see if we want to move forward, uh, the cost of everything has escalated. Also, the other gentleman um, that had provided us a quote from Tracks, he has now moved to Northwest Territories, or working in the Northwest Territories, so he's doing a two-week rotation, and he doesn't know if he could do the work Okay. within that two weeks. Um, Ray from Nova Scotia, he said that he would really like to know as soon as possible, like hopefully this week, 
if we'd like to move forward um, with his quote, and he will work within our budget. Um, but he said that getting supplies is about four weeks out, and once we get to September, it's too late. So he would really like to do it the last two weeks of August, if possible. He said that if he could utilize our students for the last two weeks, then he would either take the cost of the price of them, like their labor, off, or if we wanted to, if we knew as people that wanted work, then he would either hire them and just pay the contract. But he said that would save him from bringing his crew up from Nova Scotia and have to pay for hotels and meals and travel expenses and all that, which I thought was very fair of him. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So is this something like a special meeting in council once we get some information from him? Probably um, like yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we're meeting with him tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So he's hoping to be here around noon. So if any of the rest of you wanted to come here, you're more than welcome. Um, the update on the recreation building, um, yesterday, I, I sent after our admin session, I sent back your request for um, leaving the church the way it is, I'm fixing it, but putting just the bathrooms in and just having a lock so that we can utilize them for outside, and then also asking him to do the extension just straight back. So he said that um, he's hoping to be able to do that second part by next week or whatever and have something back to us. So maybe if we can get that back at the same time, in time for that special meeting, then we can move forward with that as well. The multi-purpose surface, as you can see with all of the construction, it is going well. Um, I reached out to uh, Perfection Paving and asked them if they could hold off doing the paving of the surface until probably the third week of August so that our Hamel Sports soccer program would be over with because we don't want to disturb everything out there. Um, the solar array, there's no update on that, they will be starting that project the end of August. And the Ralph Gorman Park, um, I've received um, all the documentation and stuff from the lawyer to do the um, agreement with the gentleman that lives behind the park or whatever, so hopefully we'll be able to get that property transferred. Very soon. Can I make an additional request for uh, next meeting and, and on? Since we now are moving forward also with the Yoho Park, can we get that added to the same area of the um, uh, agenda for until we get that resolved? Or? Mm -hmm, that's a good idea. Just so we have an update. Yeah, and so to give you an update, I don't have an Yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's uh, I, um, I can should hear from August. August. August 1st will still be there. That's what I sent yes. off the information to for the lawyers and I contacted our lawyer and just gave them the heads up if they needed any information they um, might be contacted by. Have we kind of booked a surveyor because you know how busy they are? Um, I haven't yet, no. Okay. I want to make sure that before I book that yeah. it's going well, easy to cancel. Through. <clears throat> easy cancel. You know last year we waited for three or four months. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure with this new... Check with Bud Ozark and see. Yeah. It was, he seems to be very accommodating. Yeah, yeah. that'd be good. Yeah. Yes, Councillor Sutton. Just on the accessibility trail, do you know when they're going to finish the first phase of it? I know paving's the second phase, right? The, the, when, when Buddy's going to be finished with his equipment? So you're talking about all the park maintenance that, that's out further and just stuff? Up, just up here where he's digging up the trail. This year? Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be done like in the next day or so because there's a concert. Terry Ferris is right. doing his concert here this weekend, I think on Sunday, mm -hmm. and they want to have all of it. That's what's curious. It was just going to be kind of <coughs> for that. Yeah, he said they're really putting <coughs> a push on it. They were going to put in the bridge, he said, um, tomorrow, mm -hmm. but he said that he's really worried that people would start. Mm -hmm climbing on it so they're going to put the bridge in next week 
out of the concert. <coughs> okay, moving along. Item 17, new business. Uh, policy 2022-06, workplace harassment. Can I get a motion, please? I move to adopt the policy number 2022-6, workplace harassment policy. No second. Okay, any questions, concerns, comments? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded. Motion carried, thank you. Item B, policy 2022-08, uh, uh, conflict and complaint resolution policy. I'll move to adopt uh, policy number 2022-08, conflict and complaint resolution policy. Second. I second. Okay. <coughs> any questions, comments? I actually do have a question about that one. Because was this the one that was sent out just recently that we changed, we took out the duplicate part that you had meant, you said you were taking out? Yeah. So what was the reason for taking that out again? Because that was the part that we said if they didn't comply with the code of conduct, then this was going to be their result, right? It was, so it was in there twice. So if you look up to the section before, it has sanctions. We yes. just moved it up. The sanctions are all, they're all together. No, all the sanctions. It doesn't say if they don't comply. There was this, we had it specifically laid out so that, like, because the original code of conduct violation, the person refused to comply with what we said, and we had no way of retaliating. So... Yeah, or recourse. So, what? Right. So this was. I thought that was in there to make sure that that didn't happen again. But if it's now under sanction, it's not it the. Be. I would say it's not the same though, because it was under sanction before. What is non-compliance under sanction? No. So I, I I know what I know what she's trying to say because we had. We had a list of, of recourses if somebody is against the code of conduct, and then if they didn't comply to the consequence or whatever, then you would go to your next three, three, steps. three steps, right? There was three, three things. Because um, it was kind of like three other sanctions, like three other sanctions, but they're the same sanctions. They were, hard, they, they were more harsh sanctions, I think. Exactly, and those would be the sanctions that would be used if the person did not comply with the original with sanctions. The original, whatever we had right. determined was necessary. So we could, we can either table this or we can just say to, that we will approve it and with the amendment that we add, the non-compliance section. That non-compliance section. I would like to have that. Yes. Yeah. Back, back in. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to table it then. No, we'll just move it with the addition. We'll, you know, we'll motion to addition, approve so it with the addition of the additional sanctions, yeah. or the yeah. non-compliance part. The non motion for an amendment of it. Yeah. So if somebody needs to make a motion for an amendment. To okay. Sure. I move to amend the. Um, what did we? Policy 2022-08 conflict and complaint resolution <coughs> policy to include the non-compliance section. Okay. And I'll second the amendment. Okay. So all those in favor of the amendment, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Motion to the amendment carried. All those in favor of the original motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Original motion is carried. Thank you. All righty, item C, uh, change of the request, handle school access, uh, Councillor Heisler promotion. Okay, so I'm just gonna give a little bit of a preamble to bear with me. So, um, so as we, we all know, um, pedestrian safety to and from the handle park uh, has been an increasing concern to our residents. A multi-use walking, biking trail between Nature Park Drive and the new school has been discussed, and I believe it would provide a safe connection at one point, uh, a request for a change order to the left turn lane project that's currently underway was suggested by Peter Flowers, depending on the timing. Anyway, I reached out to him for his advice and was told that the project was too far along, 
and would likely be completed before a trail could be designed and the proper approvals granted by the province. So um, he recently contacted Minister Jill Green's office to ask for guidance on how Hamilton moved the project forward. Part of the concern is that the trail is, could be on either the Department of Education property or the Department of Transportation property. Um, it was suggested that a letter be sent to both Ministers Green and Cardi outlining what Council wanted along with a sketch showing the proposed location of the trail. And Peter Flower is willing to provide the rough sketch. Um, I feel very strongly that Council has to do their due diligence um, to protect the safety of our residents. And with that in mind, I make the following motion. Whereas Hamill Park Academy will be opening in September and a safe connection between Nature Park Drive and the school is a concern, and whereas the Hamill Rural Community allocated $325,000 for upgrades to the playground and recreation infrastru infrastructure at the school, thereby enabling all residents to utilize these facilities through a community use of school agreement. And whereas an active transportation network to and from the school would benefit residents within the community, not just students of parents or students themselves. And whereas the letter from the Minister of Transportation states that an engineered design of the trail is the responsibility of the community. Be it resolved that the clerk be authorized and directed to submit a letter to the Department of Transportation Minister Jill Green and copy to the Education Minister Dominic Cardi, outlining the request to construct an eight foot wide crusher dust trail from Nature Park Drive to the sidewalk of the bus entrance of the school, including a bridge over the water course along with a rough sketch of the proposed trail, with the understanding that all costs incurred for the project will be paid for by the rural community of Hanwell, including the eventual engineering designs up to a maximum of four hundred thousand dollars. Second. Okay. Uh, any questions, concerns from council? I'll start with Councillor Fox. I think. Oh, Gary. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, we're, I was wondering where we're going around the table or not, but I, I can. So I have uh, a couple of minor concerns, but um, they're not really nearly as important as, as two of the more major concerns I have. So, uh, when will council see this proposed sketch? So, according to Peter Flower, who you know works for Stantec and has been involved with the left turn lane project, he said he could have it by the end of this week, and then he would send it out either to myself or the clerk to send out to the rest of council to be included in the letter once we've looked at it, so it's good. Okay, so I guess the concern I have with that is kind of twofold. The number one, it, it, it implies from what's been said so far up to this point that he would be reaching out with that on behalf of council, but council hasn't authorized that. So nobody, a citizen should be doing that on behalf of council until... He's reaching motion. out to what? I'm sorry, I don't understand. You said that he's been reaching out to the DTI on behalf of council. No, I did not say that. I said he reached out to Minister Green himself. He is her, they are classmates. They went to school together. Right. He is extremely concerned about the safety. <coughs> so he reached out to her, not on behalf of council. Okay, it's, it sounded like you said behalf of council. Um, I guess that's sort of my biggest concern with it. So, if anything moves forward with this, we would need to see it first, and we would need... Because the, it, it sounds like this motion is kind of a cart before a horse thing, where we didn't see the motion, we didn't see the sketch yet, but we're asking it to go to DTI. Shouldn't we see it first before it goes to DTI? Well, here's the thing. I, I agree, yes, and it is going to be seen because the letter is going to DTI with the sketch. So that's the way it's going to work because he will give us the sketch and it will go. That's what I said. The letter will go with the sketch. He has been working on the left turn lane project. Right. So as an engineer, he knows exactly where that left turn lane is going to end on that property. I personally don't know where that left turn lane is, and I don't think anybody on council knows where that left turn lane is going to end or start or whatever, whether it's Department of Transportation or the, the Department of Education property. So he, because he's involved in that project and is an engineer and is an expert in his field, is able to determine exactly where that trail should go, right? The, in, the problem is, is that they are going to have to, both departments, jump through some hoops to get land transferred. 
from one to the other in order for that trail to exist. So the letter, as I said, um, outlining the request, including a bridge over the watercourse with a rough sketch of the proposed tail, that is going to go to Minister Jill Green's office once we get it. I don't plan on sending it out to, or him, him sending it out, it's going to be to the clerk, that's what it says, authorize and direct the clerk to do it, so it will all go to her to send to him. Okay. Uh, to her. That or does answer her. my question, but I still think that we are jumping too far ahead before having more information. I think that, I don't think this motion should be made to move forward until we've seen the sketches and what would be proposed to, to be done with it. That, that's my opinion on this. I would disagree because I don't think, if we're not making this motion, then they, A, they're not going to be able to transfer it to land around, for one thing. B, we have never sent them a motion stating that we are actually willing to pay for it. So I think this actually gives them much more information and they're able to move forward. If I may, that's one other quick question with that, then that's, so that's raises up another issue too then. So there's an amount listed in here, but we don't have any idea what this project would even cost. There's no estimates been done on it yet. Well, if you look at what we've done at the pedestrian trail here, which is half a kilometer, and that's only 0.3 of a kilometer, this one costs 127,000. Mm -hmm. 0.3 of a kilometer is going to be even less than that. I've made a maximum of 400,000, just in case engineering designs might be worse. I don't know, right, this but also I think it's a pretty good bet that it's not going to be 400000 but that's a maximum. And then there will be the question, of course, of where the budget's going to come from for that because that hasn't been allocated yet. Except for the fact that we have in our capital reserve $620,000 and our capital fund we also have a million dollars according to the Treasurer's report. So no. there is money. A million dollars is gas tax. Because it's a recreation item, it's a recreation trail, gas tax on when it could be used. Gas tax that was already been allocated were capital five-year capital plan, so that would need to be redone, resubmitted, and reviewed by council. And but there is projects on there that we don't have actually any, have no start on, like the amphitheater, we not we have nothing on that. So there are that money can be changed around. It is a work in progress that one. It would have to be resubmitted, yes. Okay, thank you okay. for answering your question. Councillor Sept. Sorry. Uh, so the way I look at this is, thank you by the way for the motion for Councillor uh, Weisler. Uh, the way I look at this, this is our operational argument. I think what we're trying to do is we want a trail to the school to be safe. I don't care if it's 10 feet from the road, 25 feet from the road, that's really the engineer's and operational's point of view at that point. I don't need to look at what a trail is, I know what an 8 foot trail is. Just put it the safest possible way. Getting the stamp by the engineer, that's necessary because we have to put a bridge on it. I'm sure it was done here. So you just need the stamp for that. He's showing the design so everybody knows what we're looking for. Just like we did with Yoho Lake, we kind of did a quick design of what the thing would look like. That's what he's going to do. It may have to change based on the circumstances. So that should be something we all get hung up on. This is essentially what this motion is, is we authorize, let's get it done. The clerk, she's well competent enough to make sure the right steps are going to be taken in. It's an operational thing. Once we authorize, we want it done. I think it's a very simple thing. I think the public wants it. I definitely want it. I don't think I've been a shrinking violet on this ever since I joined this council. And frankly, I think this motion is, is well done. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Councillor Septon. Councillor Jonah. Okay, anyway, I uh, wrote my thoughts down so that I could remember them. Um, okay, in response to the motion, that's on track with biking, hiking, whatever fun and trail you want to call it and to the Hannibal Academy, I'd like to present the following comments. While safety of students, teachers, and parents, and the general public is of utmost concern to everyone involved with the project, with this project, the provincial government, to the principal, the teachers, everyone, the council, and staff, I do not believe that this motion will do anything to help this situation. Council has been keenly interested in the progress and details of the school since it was announced. We are also aware of our role in the construction. We are aware that it is a totally provincial project. We are happy and grateful We've had a good working relationship with the, the departments involved, the Department of Education, DTI, as well as the minister, and most recently the principal. I, there have been opportunities for counselors to have, have had a Zoom meeting with DTI, etc. Staff have been in very close contact with the department involved. 
We've sent letters, we've made motions to direct staff to ask specific questions. I believe every one of our questions has been answered in the appropriate, uh, by the appropriate department. And we also have, I have a, anybody's interested, these are just a list of the times we've contacted, the clerk and the staff have contacted, and the mayor have and got answers back from people. Uh, we are told, we are told up front that the standards for the sidewalk and crosswalks. And just because we don't necessarily agree with the answer, doesn't mean the standards are not the standards. And we have been told repeatedly that DTI, the Department of Education, the principal, and I believe the RCMP, do not see the value in this trail, and which we've never seen a sketch of, as you pointed out, and we don't know the cost of. And it's so near the 640, the purpose of the most, the state of the most, is simply to get people safely from Nature Park Drive to the school. There's already a safe trail, that, and then we're hopefully, we just talked tonight about the process of upgrading that trail as it is. Um, for, the, for the purpose of the motion to get across, if the purpose of this motion is to get people across the 640, it's not even mentioned. There's, there's no mention of crosswalk, no mention of lights, there's no mention of nothing. This is $400,000 for a redundant trail that we already have. Um, DTI has been open with their timeline for their plans. They've listened to our concerns. They've responded to our requests. They are doing a school zone evaluation. They're looking at speed limits and signage. And I just realized we can't understand why we suddenly find all of these people totally incompetent. This isn't the first school they've ever built. This is their job, and nobody wants children or anyone else to be unsafe. They are doing what they're designated to do, and we are not. You know, we're, we are trying to bully them into something else. Um, they're busing all the students. They're building safe driveways and parking lots. They're doing road modifications, and as soon as feasible, we'll do a safety study. If, and I'm sure if issues are found, they will result in more changes. My suggestion is we continue to work with the province and not against them, which is just how I feel we've been doing things. All right, moving on to Councillor Fox. Oh. So I had to make some notes, too, <laughs> on this one. Um, I think we I think we all want to ensure that that people are safe. Um, but when I look at this, I see this is entirely a provincial project. It's a provincial school. It's a provincial highway. It's under their jurisdiction. We've expressed ourselves to the province. We've asked for a, a reduction in the speed limit. We've, we've asked for a crosswalk and a traffic light, um, which would allow for a safe crossing of the highway. We've also been told that any decision will be made by um, after proper study and consideration of what the standards are. That's fair, they're the experts. We've been told that a crosswalk would not be approved if the speed limit is not reduced. We've been told that the province will evaluate our request for a traffic light. So all of this we put forward. As of now, we have no commitment by the province to provide a safe way to cross Highway 640. And given that there are certain standards that the province as experts follow, it's possible that no crossing will be approved. That's their decision based on their expertise in these matters, and it's not our decision to make. If we move forward with this motion at this time, we would essentially have a trail that goes from Hanwell Place to the school, but no way to get to it from across the other side of the highway, which is my biggest worry. I worry that if we build a trail on one side of the highway with no speed reduction, no crosswalk, and no traffic light, that the trail may actually result in a temptation for children and adults to cross the highway to take advantage of the trail. I'm afraid that, in an attempt to increase safety, that we may actually be increasing the possibility of a tragedy. It's awful tempting for a child to see that the path's on the other side of the highway, zip across the road knowing that it's a convenient way to get to school or to the park. The danger is in crossing the highway. The pathway without a safe way to cross the road, I think might actually lead to more danger, not less. We have no budget for the pathway, especially if it's a pathway that only provides access from Hanwell Place to the school, but doesn't doesn't get anyone across the road. Um, and if that's the case, we already have a trail that joins Hanwell Place to the school. So I guess I'm concerned about three things. A, we don't have the funds in the budget to cover the cost. That's my least concern. That we already have a trail that links the school to Hanwell Place. And my biggest concern is the fact that we might be putting more children in danger by dangling the carrot of a safe trail in front of them without a safe way to cross the highway. 
Thank you, Councillor Fox. Councillor Pearson. Um, so the way that I look at it, and I appreciate um, your concerns, Councillor Fox, and I have thought of that as well, um, but the way that I am viewing the situation is we asked, can we get a crosswalk? And we were told it's too fast, so we say, okay, can we reduce the speed? And they said, we'll, we'll think about it, but even if we reduce the speed, you still can have a crosswalk because you have nowhere to cross to. So now we're saying, okay, well, let's have somewhere to cross to. So then when you do reduce the speed, which I do believe they will do, um, then we'll have at least somewhere we could cross to. We'd have to put something on the other side as well uh, when it came to it. When we reached out, they say, if you have designs, pass them on, and uh, it would be your responsibility to pay for it. That, to me, isn't a no. That's, that's a let's see what you've got. Let's see your ideas. Like, I, don't, I don't read that as a no. I know some people do. Um, but I think... <coughs> As uh, a couple people had mentioned, the trail through the woods. I'm not walking in a trail through the woods at night alone, like, or with my kids. Like, I'm a woman, I have two young kids, I'm not going to take a night trail. <laughs> it's scary to me, I'm just not going to do that. I would much rather walk along the road, even though that's scary as well. So, yes, it's a short trail. I don't think it's going to be crazy expensive, like we had said. And I think that if we're listening to our residents and we're truly representing the people that we're supposed to be representing, this is the biggest project that I've heard feedback on. I've not heard feedback on something like this, to this level, on, on any other project. So I'm going to represent my constituents uh, and, and support this project. And I have kids who will be attending this school too. So like this is extra personal to me. So I think we should really listen to our constituents when they say this is what we want our money spent on. And, and we can wiggle it around and make it work. Okay, I'll just remind Council of our, our bylaw 01214, a bylaw respecting the proceedings of Council and Administration. Item F, no member shall speak a second time on the same question or motion until every member choosing to speak has spoken, and the member can speak no further on the question without special leave of the Chairman. So I'm going to call the debate to an end, and uh, I'm going to ask for the question. So, all those in favour of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Nay. Nah. Okay, we have, again, we have a tie. And it's, uh, I guess it's up to me to cast a vote, which I don't do very often, but I, I do appreciate how our procedures are laid out. So I want to thank councillors for speaking freely on this motion. I realize it is an emotional and controversial motion to some. One thing I might add is that nobody brought up what handball residents pay in road tax which is approximately $6 million annually. It's been proven by a study that this amount far exceeds the dollar figure that we receive in road services from the province. For the province to expect Hanwell to pay a gain for road improvements, be they crosswalks, sidewalks, traffic lights, and any other infrastructure anywhere in Hanwell regarding roads, which in fact we do not own and do not have any control over, is highly unjust. Also, DTI has already corresponded with us that they will not support such a trail, along the 640 and the principal of the academy has said he is not in favor. He stated that the trail in existence from Hanwell Place to the academy is more than adequate and safer for the students to use. With this in mind, I cannot support this motion and my vote is nay. Therefore, the motion is defeated. Thank you, Council. At this time, too, I want to remind Councilors of Bylaw, bylaw 01 2014, a bylaw respecting the procedures of Council and Administration, Section 5I. Any decision of council adopted in a public meeting is the official decision of the entire council. Again, I thank you. Moving on, upcoming events. Uh, tomorrow night, actually, July 21st at 6.30 p.m., we have a strawberry social. I know we've got a few people working at this already. If there's anybody else who wants to volunteer to come forward to help out, uh, you know, the extra help is always appreciated. What time are we supposed to be here for that? Do you need us cutting it up? Um, we hmm. will probably, no, we can do it tomorrow. Stop and do the barriers and stuff. So we're here tomorrow. for the event. And yeah, here for the event to help serve, clean up, that type of thing. So I suspect people should be here at least by 6 o'clock where the event starts at 6.30. Okay, Scotty and the Stars uh, is July 23rd. That's this coming Saturday at 2 p.m. And sorry, can I just... Sure. Is anybody going to be able to help myself and the summer student with that on Saturday? Sorry, what are we referring to? The Scotty and, and the Stars. Stars. I'm not the Scottish thing. But it's not at 2, it's at 12. It's at 12. It's at 12. And we've only had... Oh, sorry. 12? It says here, 
two. It's actually it's a, it's 12. a twelve. And we've Correction, had, mate. Thank we've, you, Holly. We've had eight responses, so hopefully we'll get more. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we had thought about freezies or whatever, but we're, to me, we're calling it a family fun day. To me, family fun day isn't a freezy, so I'm going to do uh, ice cream or Sundays. Something yeah, I think that's fun. a good idea. I can I can make myself available on Saturday. I thought you were saying I can make myself a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can do that too on Saturday. Yeah. But if there's only eight people, you don't really need a whole lot of people. But people might not have registered. Right, you, you didn't have to register. to register. Oh, you didn't yeah. have to. No, we just put click on the event if you want to attend so we could kind of get a gauge. We've got 37 interested. Eight have said they're coming. Yeah. And we're so. going to put it out to the soccer, on the soccer mm -hmm. Uh, website as well for those kids. So stuff. we might get a wing call. We might get a, a lot, but yeah, I I can help out on Saturday, but only if the mayor gives me a lift. Oh yeah, that's consider, <laughs> consider that done since you're not shouldn't be driving. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else want to help out? I think Saturday? if we have three, that's probably yes. <laughs> yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Sorry, so respect. we just don't know. But uh, if anybody wants to has the time free on Saturday to show up, by all means, you're you know again. It's nice to see many hands make light the work as usual. Uh, let's see, it's uh, Nature in Me, July 26th at 6 p.m. Uh, Baby and Me program, August the 3rd at 10 a.m. Uh, EE Communications Committee meeting, August the 8th at 5.30. F Parks and Recreation Committee meeting, August the 9th at 7 p.m. G Administration meeting, August the 10th at 7 p.m. H Baby and Me program, August 17th at 10 a.m. I is a Blueberry Social, August the 18th at 6.30. Uh, we'll call again for any volunteers to help out with that. That's always a fun event. I know everybody likes Blueberry Pie, including me. Uh, Nature in begins August 23rd at 6 p.m. And we've canceled our, canceled our closed session, so the date and time and location of the next regular meeting of council will be, be WebEx for council chambers. Most likely it's going to be council chambers unless things go Differently, uh, so August the 17th, 2022 at 7 p.m. Can I have a motion for adjournment, please? I have one question. Oh. Will we be in one of those meetings to do with the UMNB meeting? Yes. Oh, um, so the last one we had to do was the um, budget, budget meeting, meeting yeah. or whatever, so we can because there was a couple of you that were going to be able to yeah. Yeah. make it's not it. It's not on this so. list, but it's uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. the, the, the none of the finance or budget yeah. meetings are on here. If you guys would like to attend that UNMD one, I can reschedule the budget meeting. We can have it on a Sunday morning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, motion to adjourn, please. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second.